Welcome Achievers! Before we dive in, remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more insights on your fitness journey. Let's start by addressing a crucial concept in muscle building, progressive overload. Now what exactly is progressive overload? It's a simple yet powerful principle that revolves around the idea of gradually increasing the stress placed on your body during exercise training. Imagine your muscles as a castle. Each time you work out, you're essentially laying bricks to build this castle. The more bricks you add, the stronger and larger your castle becomes. In the context of bodybuilding, these bricks represent the weights you lift. Now here's where progressive overload comes into play. You don't want to be laying the same number of bricks every day, do you? That would just keep your castle at a standstill, neither growing nor weakening. The same goes for your muscles. If you keep lifting the same weights, your muscles will adapt to that level of stress and growth will plateau. To avoid this, progressive overload suggests that you need to increase the amount of weight you're lifting each week. This doesn't mean you have to add 20 pounds to your barbell every session, not at all. Even a small increment, say a pound or two, can make a significant difference. This strategy keeps your muscles guessing, forcing them to adapt to the increasing demands you're putting on them. In response, they grow stronger and larger, leading to muscle hypertrophy, the fancy term for muscle growth. Think of it like this. Say each week, you're adding a few more bricks to your castle, making it stronger and more formidable. And over time, these small additions add up to create a substantial impact. Remember, small steps lead to big gains. It's not about lifting the heaviest weights today, but about the progress you make over time. So embrace progressive overload and let's start building that castle, brick by brick, pound by pound. Moving on to the next crucial factor, repetition. You've probably heard the phrase, practice makes perfect, right? Well, when it comes to muscle hypertrophy, we could modify that phrase to repetition makes gains. Let's dive into this. When you are weight training, your goal is to stress your muscles. This stress signals your body to repair and strengthen the tissue, leading to muscle growth. But how much stress is enough? This is where the magic number range of 7 to 15 reps per exercise comes in. This range is optimal for a couple of reasons. First, it provides a balance between muscle endurance and strength gain. When you're lifting weights, you're not just building muscle. You're also training your muscles to work longer and harder. And this is what 7 to 15 reps give you, a sweet spot where you're working your muscles hard, but not so hard that you risk injury. Second, this repetition range helps you achieve progressive overload. Remember that term from earlier? Progressive overload is the gradual increase of stress placed upon the body during exercise training. It's the key to continued muscle growth over time. And by sticking to a rep range of 7 to 15, you're constantly pushing your muscles to adapt and grow. Now, let's talk about sets. Three sets per exercise is the recommended number. Why? Well, one set might not be enough to fully stimulate your muscles and more than three sets might lead to overtraining which can impede your progress. So three sets hit that sweet spot of providing enough stimulus for growth without causing unnecessary strain or fatigue. And keep in mind these are just guidelines. Everyone's body is different, so it's important to listen to your body and adjust accordingly. If you can do more than 15 reps without feeling fatigued, it might be time to increase your weight. If you can't reach 7 reps, you might need to decrease it, so there you have it. 3 sets, 7 to 15 reps per exercise, that's your recipe for muscle growth. Remember, repetition is the mother of all skill, and in our case, the mother of muscle growth. Now let's talk about diversifying your routine. When we dive into the world of muscle building, it's essential not to get stuck in a rut. Each muscle group in your body craves attention in its unique way. That's where the power of variety comes in. By incorporating two to three different exercises for each muscle group, you're giving your body a comprehensive workout. Think of it as a symphony, with each part playing a different yet harmonious tune. Your biceps, triceps, deltoids, each muscle group is an instrument that needs to be played differently to create the perfect melody of muscle hypertrophy. Incorporating a variety of exercises not only ensures a balanced body development, but also helps to avoid overuse injuries. It's like changing the tires on your car. You wouldn't want to wear out one while the others are still new, right? A variety of exercises not only keeps your workouts interesting, but also ensures each muscle group gets the attention it deserves. Food is fuel. Let's discuss how to use it effectively. When it comes to building muscle, your diet plays a monumental role. Yes, lifting weights and working out are crucial, but without the right nutrition, your efforts may go in vain. You see, to gain muscle, your body needs to be in a state of caloric surplus. But what does that mean exactly? 
Imagine your body as a car. It needs fuel to function and perform. Now, if you provide just the right amount of fuel, it will run smoothly. But if you want to upgrade that car to make it faster and stronger, you need to provide it with more than just the necessary fuel. Similarly, for your body to build muscle, it needs more energy than it burns. This is what we call a calorie surplus. So how do you achieve this surplus? Ideally, you should aim for about 500 calories over your maintenance level each day. This means if your body needs 2,000 calories to maintain its current weight, you should aim for 2,500 calories to start building muscle. Now you might be thinking, that's a lot of extra food, and yes, it can be. But remember, it's not about eating everything in sight. The quality of those calories matters just as much as the quantity. You want to focus on nutrient-dense foods like lean proteins, healthy fats, and complex carbohydrates. And how do you keep track of all this? Well, there's an app for that. There are numerous nutrition tracking apps available that can help you log your meals, count your calories, and even break down your macronutrients. They can be a real game changer in your muscle building journey. So, you've got your workout routine down and you're eating in a calorie surplus. You're all set, right? Well, not quite. Remember, consistency is key. You can't expect to see results if you're not consistent with both your workouts and your diet. Remember, you can't build a house without bricks, and you can't build muscle without the right amount of calories. Finally, let's talk about the real secret to muscle growth. It's not just about lifting heavier or eating more. The true catalyst for muscle hypertrophy is commitment and discipline. Imagine building a skyscraper. You don't just throw up a few stories in one day and call it good. It requires careful planning, daily work, and a whole lot of patience. The same principles apply to your fitness journey. You need a realistic workout schedule, a commitment to push yourself to your limits, and the discipline to stick with it, even when it gets tough. Let's start with the workout schedule. It should be as unique as you are. Some people thrive on daily workouts, while others need rest days in between. The key is to listen to your body and find what works best for you. But remember, consistency is king. Skipping workouts or constantly changing your routine will only hinder your progress. Now let's talk about pushing yourself to failure. This doesn't mean lifting until you pass out or injure yourself. It means challenging your muscles until they can't perform another rep with good form. This is where the real growth happens. It's uncomfortable, it's challenging, but it's also incredibly rewarding. And finally, discipline. This is the glue that holds everything together. Without it, your most well-intentioned plans will crumble. Discipline means sticking to your workout schedule, even when you'd rather be doing something else. It means pushing yourself to failure, even when it's uncomfortable. And it means eating in a calorie surplus, even when you're not hungry. Remember, building muscle is a process. It won't happen overnight, and it won't happen without effort. But with commitment and discipline, you can achieve your fitness goals. Muscle growth is a marathon, not a sprint. Stay committed, stay disciplined, and you will see the results.